Okay, so I want to tell a little story about uh, a guy named Chris Morgan, who the world now knows and refers to as the Bagel Boss guy. For any of y'all living under a rock the last couple of months, this is the guy who uh, became infamous and notorious when he got into that argument slash fight inside a uh, Long Island Bagel Boss. Got tackled to the ground by some guy like twice his size and the, the rest is history. But the thing is, not too many people actually know this guy, right? I did. I was actually friends with him for a time. Uh, I met him at this place called uh, Albert's Pizza in uh, Hop Hog. And uh, he started working there one day and we just kind of hit it off a little bit and one day he's like, he's like, hey, hey, you want to hang out? And I was like, okay. He seemed like a funny guy, like he was fun to chill with. Like, all right, whatever. So we chill a few times and, you know, we have a good time. And then we basically become friends. And I'm not going to lie, this guy was funny as fuck, right? He was pretty entertaining. Covered up, you know, whatever faults he may have had. Humor is uh, good medicine. It forgives a lot. And he thought I was like the funniest person he ever met. Like I would tell him stories like my story about Madge and, you know, me ate them little rats. And he thought this was like the funniest story like ever told. Like he would like convulse with laughter and be like, and every time I would chill with him, he wanted me to tell you the same story again. Like, Chris, you've heard it like 10 times. Like, no, tell me again. Tell me the story about the little rats. <laughs> little rats. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, this guy was a fucking nut, right? You want to talk about a pothead? This motherfucker loved weed so much, he drove to my house at 7.30 in the morning during a snowstorm. This was in, like, February 2014. It was maybe the biggest snowstorm we had that winter. It was one of them. It was pretty bad. It was a blizzard. And my phone rings at, like, 7 a.m. And it's Chris. And I'm like, what the fuck does this guy want? 7 o'clock in the morning. Like, hey, 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 what's up? It's Chris. Yeah, what do you want, bro? Hey, you want to smoke some weed? Now? Bro, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, 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 it doesn't matter. Come to your house. You're going to drive to my house at 7 a.m. in a blizzard just to smoke weed. Bullshit. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah, but we'll come to your house right now. Get in the car. Like, yeah, okay. You're right. This guy's crazy, but he ain't that crazy. Not only was it a blizzard and it was 7 a.m., but I lived in Dix Hills, and he lived out in Selden, which is like a 30-mile drive. I hang up the phone, I'm like, whatever, he ain't coming. Like 45 minutes, an hour later, I get this knock on my door. It's Chris standing there. I tell you, come on, I see I smoke some weed. I told you I was going to come. Like, holy shit, you are a crazy motherfucker. And um, I'll never forget the time that I'm chilling with him. And he goes, hey, hey, yo, you, you want to, like, get a girl or something? I say, get a girl? What do you mean, get a girl? Yeah, well, we can get a girl. What do you mean, we, Chris? You said a we. You know, we can, like, share. Yeah. Did you just ask me to have a fucking threesome with you? Yeah, you know, we can both, like, fuck her. What? You, what the fuck makes you think... I want to have a threesome with you. Like, this is the last guy I'd want to see with his fucking clothes off. Even if I was in the two-guy threesomes, which I'm not. I think it's fucking gross. I don't like sharing. Yeah, two, two girl. um, what was I going to say? Two, <laughs> me and two girls, yeah. But I, don't, I ain't into that shit. He's like, no, no, it's okay. We don't have to touch each other. I'll be on one side. You're on the other. We no, Chris, you're missing the point. 
I don't want to be in the same room with you. I don't want to be in the same house as you when I'm fucking a girl. Ew, man. <laughs> what the fuck are you smoking? Something more than weed, seriously. A weird ass guy. And, and, but the thing was, he obviously has issues. Duh. The whole world knows that now. And I don't know. I always thought he was a little bit of a sociopath. You know, he didn't really understand the concept of empathy, you know, manners, tact. Things like that. Like, I go over his house one time, and this motherfucker offers me a piece of watermelon. And I put it in my mouth and start chewing on it, and it tastes disgusting, right? And I spit it out immediately. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? This watermelon's rotten. Like, yeah, I know. I got you. Like, fuck you. Who the fuck? Fight someone over and feeds them rotten food. Like, what is wrong with you, bro? (laughs) Jesus. But it got to the point, unfortunately, where the only thing he ever wanted to talk about is weed. Like, I'm a fucking, like, walking marijuana plant or something that he could just pick off of. Seriously. Like, he would literally call me up, and he wouldn't even say hello. (laughs) <laughs> He'd just be like, hey, got any weed? Like, this is how the call would start. Not even, hi, fuck you, you got any weed? No. Hello? Got any weed? And, and after a while, I just got so sick of it, I, I told the guy to fuck off. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it lasted maybe two or three months, and then I never spoke to him again. I ended up cursing him the fuck out, and... You know, all that shit. But, uh, yeah, like I said, most people only know him through the internet, through short encounters with him on the street, seeing him in Bagel Boss, whatever. Guy hasn't had a lot of friends, obviously. Hadn't been close with a lot of people. So very few people have actually been able to say they've chilled with the Bagel Boss guy. Well, I have, so... This is my personal perspective and my story on the great Chris Morgan. But, uh, yeah.